Well, welcome to another edition of Amtory Presents, continuing our February love galore. Yes, this year we're honoring a lady this year. She was a regular game player and very exciting game player. This week we're honoring the beloved Elaine Joyce. We're going to honor her while she played the pyramid. We're going to honor her also hosting when she hosted the on the dating game. From September of 1986, we have a big guest star on the show. I'll tell you that. One of our finest actors. He did movies. Rat Race. He did all those great movies. He did a movie in heaven with Robin Williams. He did. He did some great movies. Cuban Gooding Jr. on the all new dating game coming up next. Once there were two bears, a big bear. I'll have a Coca-Cola classic. And an even bigger bear. Give me a case of Coke. <laughs> this bear loves the big, bold taste of Coca-Cola classic, the original. And this bear loves the light, smooth taste of Coke. Because it goes down real easy. <sighs> How about another? Yeah, another case. Another case? You gotta keep a lot of Coke in the refrigerator. Coke and Coca-Cola classic. Looks like it's going to be a great day for flying, Grandpa. Is that you, Mommy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well. Cut. That's a wrap. back home though it's just a few short miles my baby smile just around the bend we have spent far too much time apart tonight let's stay right where we are not stray too far from a familiar friend you love
Hollywood, the dating capital of the world, it's the all-new Dating Game. And here's the star of the Dating Game, Elaine Joyce. Thank you very much and welcome to the Dating Game. When it comes to dating, are gals more aggressive these days? I mean, now it's the guys who are complaining that women are all hands. Well, I've got a feeling that I'm going to have my hands full with our first three bachelors, so let's meet them right now. Hi there, bachelor number one, what's your name? Elaine, um, my name is Byron Clark. And you were on the dating game back in 1976. Yes, I was, and I'm still trying. <laughs> And you say that you're a very civic-minded guy. In what way? Well, what I do is, on, on, like on a Sunday, I get my date, put on my sneakers, and we go out and paint out the graffiti in the alley. That's great. Out of sight. What do you use on it? I want to know. My back alley well, is just a mess. Okay, I've got three different paints. Uh -huh. One is a gray, one is a white, uh -huh. and one is a black area. I and see. And I go up and down. Slash it out. Thanks for the information. <laughs> Bachelor number two, what's your name? Harvey Shane. Hi, Harvey. You were on the original dating game shows in 1966. And you're a lot prettier than Jim Lang. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're still looking for a woman, you say, who is outgoing, impulsive, and kooky. Kooky? At this stage of the game, any girl that goes out with me has got to be kooky. <laughs> I'm not too hard to get along with. I see. Thanks. And bachelor number three, what's your name? Uh, my name is Garrett Lambert. Now, Garrett, I see you, the girl of your dreams must have joie de vivre, joie, joie de of vivre. life. Do you have any other translation for that? Yeah, the, well, the French you said is uh, joy of life, and my, what it means to me is uh, adventurous, pretty, and easy. <laughs> you slipped that in. Okay, yeah, yeah, well, okay. Good luck to all three of you. I'll be right back Thanks. with you. <laughs> Now it's time to find out something about the woman who gets to choose one of these three guys, and here she is now, Verda. Hi, Verda. You told us that you're looking for a guy who rots? Yeah. Rots. No, I mean, I don't know the term. You want to explain it to me? R stands for richer, oh. O stands for older, T stands for taller, and S stands for smarter. Older, taller, richer, smarter. You've come to the right place! <laughs> I'm going to have them say hello to you. Bachelor number one, say hello to Verda. Hello, Verda. Bachelor Hi. number two. Hello, Verda. You have a very pleasant voice. You put me at ease. All right. And bachelor number three, say hello. Hello, Verda. I'm bachelor number three. You're for me and we're meant to be. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. Look out. Want to sit down there? <laughs> you have your questions ready? I do. Let's find out everything we can. Okay. Bachelor number one. Native Californians are occasionally referred to as prune pickers. I'm a prune picker, and I'm proud of it. Use as many words as possible that start with P and tell me the best way to make a prune picker pucker. Well, the word is pretty. A pretty for prune. P-R is rich. Uh, prune, P-R, U is underneath uh, the apple tree, or underneath something. Didn't work. Uh, <laughs> N is for naughty, and E is for easy. That, that was very good. good. Thank you. That was perfect. Preposterous. He, it was harder what he did. Instead of just P's, he used all the letters. It, yeah. was, it was tough. Bachelor number two. Same question. Well, first of all, Peter Piper picked the pickle pickle peppers. If Peter Piper picked the pickle pickle peppers, how many pecks of pickle peppers did Peter Piper pick? That's the P. He got it. <laughs> that was perfect. It was preposterous. Thank you, bachelor number two. Bachelor number three. Same question. To make you pucker? Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty, to peel, to please, pie. <laughs> He's running they are, out they are of, to me. He's yeah. running out of them. <laughs> Positively, Positively pretty. Positively pretty. <laughs> Thank you, bachelor number three. Right. Bachelor number two. Huh. At my restaurant, this month is National Meatball Month. Look at bachelor number one and tell me what I should call next month in his honor. National so, what month? <laughs> First of all, he's not a meatball. He's a very handsome guy. Good guy. Maybe uh, something like uh, Bouillabaisse Bay's week. <laughs> all right. Thank Bouillabaisse. you, Bachelor number two. Bachelor number one. Yes. Look at Bachelor number three and tell me what National Meatball Month. 
I mean, National Month for what? <laughs> I, I think it would, it would kind of be a National English Meatball Week. He's not that bad looking, but he's four foot six, very large, and has dark hair. And one eye, and one keeps looking at the one in the middle. It's kind of a strange uh, uh, Thank you, Bachelor number one. Yeah. Bachelor number three. Yes. Look at Bachelor number two. Okay. And tell me, national what month? She's a national, like, uh, like meatball watermelon month. He's, he's big and round and pretty. And you want to pick him, but not for a while. And not now. <laughs> and not to oh, you just hung yourself, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Bachelor number three. Bachelor number three again. Yes. Many European men think American women are real foxes. Do they? If you were European, let's hear how you'd ask an American fox, like myself, mm. out on a date. Mon chéri, your coat makes me purr. <laughs> I want it to keep me warm. Under the moonlight, champagne and caviar. I'm excited, Bachelor right. number three. You are excited, you. I can see that. <laughs> bachelor number one, I want to hear your European accent. The guy put me to sleep on my side. Thank you, Bachelor number one. I would say, I, I, first I'd get a little a bit of Michael Caine, then I'd say, Vulu Vulu Couchet is sweet. Uh, then I would say, Modi Lawn, cut the grass. Uh, uh, and I would say, Let's, let me take you home to mother. And I'll tie you up with silk ties. Oh, thank you, Bachelor. Oh. I can't wait. You <laughs> can Bachelor oh, number we learn two. on this show. <laughs> bachelor number two, your best European accent. Well, it might not be my best, but it is kind of a little comical. Maybe I put on an Italian accent, I'd say, hey, baby, let's fly to Newark and have some scampi. <laughs> Smart woman, I am sure you're gonna pick the right one for you. You sit here, you think about it, and we're gonna take this short break. You're going to tell us which bachelor you've chosen. Is it going to be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Which one did you decide? Bachelor number one. Bachelor number one! <laughs> Why did you choose bachelor number one? You have a worried look in your eyes. Are you worried yet? It was my feminine intuition. Just my intuition. Best thing to trust. Good for you. Let's meet the other two bachelors you didn't choose. Bachelor number two, he said he would fly to Newark with you. What a thrill. Harvey Shang. Come here, Harvey. <laughs> you were great fun. Thanks, Harvey. Bye-bye. And bachelor number three, he has a very French way about him. Garrett Lambert. Come here, Garrett, and say hello to Verda. Thanks, bye. Now let's meet the guy you did choose. Bachelor number one would like to tie you up in silk. I don't know what he's into, but we'll find out. Byron Clark. Byron, come here. Meet Verda. Oh, marvelous. Uh, marvelous. Wait till I tell you about your date. Your cares will really float away on a romantic water and air adventure in the heart of France. That's right, Bert and Byron. You'll spend your first French evening in gay Paris, home of the famous Louvre and the Arc de Triomphe. Then you're whisked away to the enchanting Burgundy countryside where you'll cruise for four days and three nights aboard Horizon Cruises Royal River Barge. That includes fabulous gourmet cuisine, beverages, and luxurious accommodations furnished by Horizon Cruises. You'll float effortlessly through a network of canals amidst a magical atmosphere of ancient villages and world-famed vineyards. Then take in the beauty from a different point of view in a hot air balloon as you glide over secluded glens and grand chateaus in the loveliest terrain in France. You and your dating game chaperone will fly from Los Angeles to Paris on Transworld Airlines' wide-body jet. You'll be hosted by a spirited flight crew and airport staff. 
Experience comfort, hospitality, and especially service. Furnished by TWA, a truly unique adventure awaits you on your dream date floating through France. Oh, incredible, isn't it? What do you think, Berta? How did you do on your choice? Did you get your ROTS definition? Great choice. And I'm glad we're going to go to Paris. That's wonderful. Thank All you. right. What do you think, huh? I think it's marvelous, as Billy Doodlefotcher says. Marvelous. <laughs> Love it. Thanks for being Thank on the show. Life. Thanks very much. Have a great time on that day. Bye-bye. Thank you. This should work out very nicely. We'll find out one day. We'll be back with Game 2 right after this. the dating game. Let's meet the three bachelors for game two right now. Hi guys, bachelor number one, what's your name? My name's Cuba Gooding Jr. Hi Cuba. Hello. Uh, your ideal mate should have a particular name you've told us. What is that? Well, it's Miss Personality because when I go on dates I'm really exciting and fun and she's got to keep up. I see a gregarious soul you want. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. And bachelor number two, what's your name? Tony Marciano Monroe. And Tony, you would, do you like to go shopping for clothes? Are you a, some sort of clothes horse or something? Yeah, whereas women are concerned, clothes do make the man. You think so? Yes. Uh, well, it's a reflection of how that man is, possibly. Yes, that's true. Bachelor number three, what's your name? Michelle Pettyford. Michelle Pettyford. Oh, Petty Ford. Yeah. I see. And you're the youngest of 11 children? Ooh. <laughs> well, any advantages to that? I mean... Well, when it comes to dating, I've learned by all their mistakes. Flawless. Were you, <laughs> were you the youngest? <laughs> yeah, the youngest of 11. I see. Oh, that's right. I asked you. I'll be right back. All Stay right. there. Oh, exactly. That's true. All those mistakes, you can see them. Now it's time to find out something about the woman who gets to choose one of these three guys. And here she is now, Donna Webb. Hi, Donna. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. You look lovely. Thank you. You want to be a dermatologist, you've told us. Yes. Well, tell me something about that. Well, I want to be a dermatologist because I love the sun lamps and I want to make lots of money. And that's the only job to do. Oh, <laughs> good enough. I have three guys that are going to say hello to you right now. Bachelor number one, you want to say hello? Hey, Donna, how you doing? Oh, wait, got all this money in the way. Wait, let me move it. <laughs> He's pushing the cash all around. I... And bachelor number two, say hello. Hello, Donna, how you doing? And bachelor number three, say hello to Donna. Guten Tag, mein Schatz. Wie geht's? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have your questions ready? Why don't you sit down here? You ready to go? Let's, let's grill them. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, They're ready. Ready okay. to go. I'm into lip syncing, but I need a band. Batch number one, let me hear your best impersonation of a drum. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Batch number two, let's hear your impersonation of a guitar. Dinner, 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 dinner. That's cute. Okay, batch number three. Uh, let's hear your impersonation of a tuba. Okay, now. All together. <laughs> That was good. Oh, okay. I wish you could have seen that. <laughs> While we're in the musical mood, there's a new dance out called The Headache. Bachelor number two, how would you describe the dance to me? Uh, it's a lot of head moving back and forth, swaying with the soul of the rhythm of the beat. It's continual motion. Oh, it is? He's got okay. that down, doesn't he? Yes, obviously you go to parties a lot, right? Yes, I'm so, brother. Okay. <laughs> I've heard a lot about pet peeves. But I don't understand why people would want to peeve as a pet. Bachelor number three, what is a pet peeve and what do you do with yours? Well, I walk a uh, pet peeve is a little guy that keeps me company on dates. I uh. just kind of go, pet peeve, what did she just say? And I can't take good care of him. I teach him love movements and things love of the sort. Love movements. Yeah. 
You have to be taught how to. Well, have I program my pet peeve. See, I, I program him to do the love movements, movements, and then when I forget, uh -huh. I do that sometimes. I ask my pet peeve, and he says, "Do this, do that, do this, do that." <laughs> what are you? Yeah, no, what are you? Okay, that's number one. Yes. What do you do with your pet peeve? Well, me and my pet peeve take a walk, and and and, and when, when he's too tired, we sit and we st stay. You know, we sit under the moon and look at the stars, and, and then the sun comes up because it's so fun. You know how time flies. Uh huh. Right? Of course. That's true. Okay, best for number two. How about you? Well, me and my pet peeve are best of friends. We go places together, eat dinner. Sometimes we might make love. Hey. With your pet peeve. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See, this is weird. Yeah, kind of strange. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Best for number two. If thunder is really supposed to be the angels bowling, what do you think lightning really is? Hello. Best Hello, number two. two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that your answer? <laughs> uh, well, lightning, as far as I'm concerned, is brilliant. It's brilliant. Yes. Oh, Five. Brita, I mean, you must have some reason to ask those questions. Yeah. I hope you got, I hope you got your answers. Uh-huh. And you're going to choose the guy that appeals to you most? Definitely. You sit there and think about that, and we're going to take this short break. Now, Donna, it's the moment we've been waiting for. We want to know which bachelor you've chosen. Um, Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? You're looking at me. <laughs> what have you got up your sleeve? Which bachelor did you choose? I picked bachelor number two. Bachelor number two. <laughs> See, they're gagging in the audience. <laughs> What's going on here? Why did you pick bachelor number two? Because I like what he did with his pet peeve. <laughs> you did, huh? <laughs> Fine, good reason. Let's meet the two you didn't choose. Bachelor number one. He says he sits under the moon with his pet peeve. That didn't appeal to you. Cuba Gooding Jr. Come here, Cuba. Say hello to Donna. Thanks, bye. Next, you didn't choose bachelor number three. He learns movement from his pet peeve. I don't know, Michelle Joe Pettyford. Come here, Michelle. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Now we're going to meet the guy you did choose. Bachelor number two. He gets real serious with his pet peeve. That's what appeals with you, to you, Anthony Marciano Monroe. Come on over here, Anthony. It's Donna. Hi. Wow. Hey, you backed way up there? Come on up here. I'm going to tell you what your date is. Get ready to have some fun Southern style on your dream day to dazzling New Orleans. Oh Woo! That's right, Don and Anthony, you're headed to sassy, sultry New Orleans. It's a city of good music and good times, and Churchill Catering will escort you on a day of sightseeing plantation homes along the river road by private limousine with a hamper lunch on the banks of the mighty Mississippi River, furnished by Churchill Catering. Then the day ends with a dinner in Café Spiza, historic, romantic, and internationally known, located in the heart of the French Quarter since 1899. Furnished by Café Spiza, you'll spend three delightful days at Omni Royal Orleans, where elegance waits for you in the tradition of French America, and includes deluxe rooms, rooftop pool, and sophisticated piano sounds in the Esplanade Lounge. Furnished by Omni Royal Orleans. You and your dating game chaperone will fly from Los Angeles to New Orleans via Continental Airlines wide-body jets featuring spacious seating, full-service meals, and complimentary snacks in their Pub in the Sky Lounge, furnished by Continental Airlines. Have a wonderfully jazzy time on your dream date to romantic New Orleans. Hey, you two haven't even looked at each other. Take a look. Hey, Donna, what do you think? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> have a great time on that date. Both of you have a good time. Thanks for being on the show. Bye-bye. He's such a cool dude, isn't he? Well, we'll see what happens. We'll be back right after this. Hi, honey. You're a darling. Thank you. Have a great time on your 
fabulous date, and you two are going to France. You're going ballooning. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do the ballooning and everything? Oh, sure. No, I won't. No fear of hot. Oh, yes, you will. You'll probably fall in love and everything. Again. Again? <laughs> well, this is Elaine Joyce saying see you next time and straight ahead. Runners up today will receive new Active Link Lee Press On Nails. Beautify Active Hands Press On in seconds. Active Link Lee Press On Nails. Or Windsong Perfume, a soft romantic fragrance that will always remind him of you. He can't seem to forget you. Your Windsong stays on his mind from Prince Machiavelli. Or Sport Stick, the quality lip protector. Sport Stick has new Paba Sunblock. Indoors or outdoors, Sport Stick is the perfect choice for protecting your lips in all weather conditions. Try Sport Stick today. Or non-stick, non-stop baker's secret non-stick bakeware. Solves your stickiest baking problems time after time. Baker's secret from Echo America's kitchen tradition. Or take the fat out of frying. Reduce calories with Mazzola No Stick. The only cooking spray made with pure Mazzola corn oil. Our unit and extender phone offers a broad selection of phones like this cordless phone with built-in speakerphone, pager, and a range of up to 1,000 feet from the base. Extender phone furnished by Uniden. And if you're in the Los Angeles area, single and attractive, and you're interested in trying out for the all-new dating game, give us a call at area code 213-469-2662. That's 469-2662. Do it now. Hurry up, call us. Members of our studio audience will receive Armstrong's luxurious Anything Goes carpeting designed for durability to protect against crushing and matting in heavy traffic. Furnished by Armstrong. This is Bob Hilton speaking for the all-new dating game of Chuck Barris production. Columbia TriStar Television. The Red Hot LA It's red fighting you across the USA Saturday nights and real cool jazz Red neon lights and rat There's the feeling in the city The real thing's coming through Coca-Cola Classic Red fighting you I've just bought a home education course On records called How to Become a Stud in 30 Minutes <laughs> Unfortunately, my turntable's broken. Bachelor at number three, give me my first lesson. Okay, you've got to make sure the pants are fitting really disgustingly tight. And you go into a bar, make sure if you don't have chest hairs, tape some on. <laughs> That's how they're doing it in the 80s. Tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Well, that is all. I hope you join us for the all-new dating game as our February love honoring Elaine Joyce. She was one heck of a lady. Oh, yes. Next time we do the honorings, we honor Bobby Banks on my other channel, on my other YouTube channel. We honor Elaine Joyce on this channel. Next time, we're going to do Loud Free Presents next week. We're honoring the game show king of all time, February Love. He gives people contestant stuff. Come on down! Bob Barker on my other channel and on this channel. We got the fabulous Jim. Oh, we're going to do a bunch of episodes with Jim Lang. We might do dating game again. Oh, yes. February loves everything. See you next time. This has been a presentation of Adam David Puppetry Productions.
This has been a presentation of Adam David Kuiper Curry Productions.